we are discussing gate 2006 ece paper and the topic we are discussing is electron devices this is second two mark question came in gate 2006 the majority carriers in an n-type semiconductor have an average drift velocity v in a perpendicular in a direction perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field b the electric field e induced due to hall effect acts in the direction a v cross b b b cross v c along v d opposite to v the majority carriers in an n-type semiconductor have an average drift velocity v in a direction perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field b the electric field e induced due to the hall effect acts in the direction the correct answer for this one is b b cross v is the answer Hall effect in semiconductors is defined like this. When a current carrying semiconductor is kept in a magnetic field, the charge carriers of the semiconductor experience a force, thereby electric field, in a direction perpendicular to both magnetic field and the current. Whenever a current carrying semiconductor is kept in transverse magnetic field, that is magnetic field and current must be in perpendicular to each other, thereby there will be a force acts on the charge carriers so in the same direction electric field and the direction of this one is perpendicular to both magnetic field and the current at equilibrium a voltage appears at the semiconductor edges which is referred as hall voltage look at this diagram <coughs> this is a semiconductor the current flowing through this is going to be indicated in this direction I is in z axis in our usual sense whenever i is in z axis and magnetic field is perpendicular to i that is nothing but y axis so y and z and y are going to be i and b directions then a force exists on this charge carriers so that force is going to be in this direction f e electric force from the charge build up this is the force direction force due to electric field it is perpendicular to both b and v b and i so that it is in x direction this is what hall effect when a current carrying conductor is placed in transverse magnetic field so magnetic field and current direction are in perpendicular and then a force exists on the charge carriers in a direction perpendicular to both B and I so that it is X axis Fe under equilibrium force due to electric field is equal to force due to magnetic field under equilibrium force due to electric field is nothing but force due to magnetic field so F electric field electric force due to electric field is equal to force due to magnetic field force due to electric field we can write it as q into e whereas force due to magnetic field we can write it as q into v cross b this minus sign we are indicating because both are in opposite directions force due to magnetic field is in the negative x axis and force due to electric field is positive x axis so even though both are same in magnitude but they are in opposite directions so that this minus sign has been taken qe is equal to minus q into v cross b so e is equal to minus v cross b and this minus sign if you are taking out at that time e will be treated as b cross v so the correct answer for this one is nothing but b cross v answer is b thank you